Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Roth Draws. My name is Ross and I draw, but holy shit, so can my students. Over the past year, I've been hosting bi-weekly art courses, teaching digital art foundations over on my bootcamp. So today, I would just love to feature and gush over some of the amazing art and artwork that students have done. Also a really cool thing, my students' final assignment was to redraw their first assignment. So we can see all the improvement, all the hard work, and all the progress that's done over an entire year. So whether you finish the boot camp or not, stick around. You know, some of these art tips can apply to you. A lot of us have similar art styles or similar weaknesses, and a lot of the critiques I'm gonna give today can help your art as well. Let's go. All right, first one up is Lucia R. Dang! I think your before piece looks great. You know, there's soft lighting, it's vibrant, and the, the skin tone looks good. You know, when people start digital art, they mix like black into their skin tone. It could feel muddy, but you did a really good job. And in your newer piece, it's an obvious glow up. Oh my gosh, she's intimidating. I feel like even the character evolved. This is like level one of an RPG and then level 100. <laughs> I love that you're placing the character in an environment, you know, in a perspective where this one is a little more straight on. And you're applying some of the techniques from the classes. Class 5.2, painting heads. You've added dimension and form to the face. Class 7.2, character rendering. You've added some material rendering to the wings and the armor and the dress and the spear. So that all looks super great. I think the next part of your journey, you could maybe find some reference for this hand over here. I know you're trying to hide it, but I see it. This hand holding the spear is a lot better, but overall, great job, obviously. I'm so proud of you. And the next one up is... Oh my God, this is awesome, Tora A. My, look at this. You've improved this much over a year. I am officially scared of you. In your older piece here, I really appreciated that you tried to take your time on all the elements, you know, rendering the fur, the antlers, the fabric, the tree, the night sky in the back. In your newest piece, I feel like you drove it home. You know, you're really picking and choosing where you want the viewer to look. It's very intentional. Your older piece, the glowing antler, was a great idea, but maybe stole the focus a little too much. Great job taking some techniques from class 6.1, 6.2, the midterm class, to help you with the implied background. Yeah, even your concept art skills improve. Overall, I am just throwing my hands up in the air. A plus, this is awesome. Next one up is... Drista! What the hell? This is... Amazing! I I have no words. <laughs> Clearly, clear improvement. On your older piece, I really enjoy some of the varying shape language. You know, you have the big shape, medium shape, thin shape, the triangular shape of the mask. You know, you tried to put your character in 3D space with this cast shadow. And in your newer piece, you improved in every single aspect and it shows your anatomy improved. You know, look at that deltoid tricep bicep separation. Your rendering improved. You know, look at this armor. It's a different kind of material indication than everything else. I think that's the biggest thing you got from the boot camp. Learning the basics of material rendering. You know, you have the light, shadow, and core shadow, and it really shows in the form here. I think the shape language improved. Over here, they're kind of like Lego square shoes, but on your new redraw, you have aesthetic footwear. The skin rendering, now it looks like he got a real tan versus a fake tan. <laughs> you even applied some of the photo bashing techniques that I taught you in the later classes, and you really drove it home. Your improvement is enormous, way faster than me when I first started. So keep going, I can't wait to see where you go. Next one comes from Misha Ruyo. Dang, this is, this is an awesome portrait. I think your original piece here, I really enjoy the vivid colors. You know, the warmth is cool. You have the moon a circle shape in the background to help frame the focal point. Um, I love the over the shoulder, kind of soft classic photography pose. It makes her look soft and elegant. And then on this piece, Someone hurt her and she's mad and she's gonna fuck you up. <laughs> Clearly the rendering is a lot better and improved. I think it looks really, really good. I think you implied some of the techniques from the Asaro head, which is a class 5.2 painting head. Light and the shadow falls on the face really nicely and we can see the form of the skull, which is really good. Kind of wish you kept the moon and mountain and horizon inside your new piece to break up some of the background. So maybe that's your next step. You know, you've really pushed and improved on the rendering, but now bringing all the components back in here to complete the illustration. But great job. Last but not least, Lance Stillness, AKA Knox. 
Yes, oh my gosh. I'm sure a lot of you have seen her work paired with the bootcamp because we use her work so much in our marketing material. She's just improved so much. I can't even tell that these are the same people. You know, in her work before, I can see the wheels turning. You know, she has a concept there. It's kind of like a fantasy night and she added a satchel of paintbrushes, a really cool concept. And her newer piece, ah! Yeah, I can sense a lot of inspiration from Wolop, who's absolutely incredible. You know, a lot of you guys have been wanting us to collapse at the very beginning of my YouTube channel. But will we? Hmm. Everything of the redraw improved. You know, the composition, the care design, the lighting, the form, the, the, the everything. <laughs> I think one of the most successful component of this is that lighting on form. You know, the warm light, cool shadows help make everything pop. And look at these hands. Oh! What the heck, look at these hands. The rendering on the hand, the face also improved. The next step in your journey is maybe differentiating some of the rendering treatment on the bird versus the armor. You know, pull up a reference of armor, pull up a reference of a bird and experiment with different brushes and try to get that as accurate as possible. And it can improve that next level of polish. Yeah, so those were some of the redraw assignments the students have done. You know, I really wanted the boot camp to feel like real school. And so we also had a midterm and a final. So I would love to run you through some of the other amazing work in the boot camp. Here we go. Ooh, yeah, so these were midterms. The task was to illustrate a character with an implied background. And so this comes from Benjamin Ben Ben Jal. I remember seeing this one on social media. It really caught my eye. Like the character is in focus, but everything else is blurry and moving. I think you've really nailed the movement and the dynamic aspect of it. Oh, I cannot take my eyes off this one. It just speaks to me for some reason. It's just like a, like a favor. I don't know if it's like the vivid color or maybe it's like mermaids. This one comes from Sarah Bambeezled. I think you nailed that dapple lighting on the skin. I think you could have incorporated some of that on the lily pads here. They seem a little like, like flat. Overall, a super solid job. And Sarah, you did this for your midterm. And so I would task you to redraw this or polish it up and add it into your portfolio. I think it's super, super strong. Maggie. Okay guys, Maggie McToon was a rock star in boot camp. Did every assignment, hustled, grinded, and she improved so much. I love the indication of the background and then the camera placement. You know, I think it's a super cool angle that gives it a very fresh perspective and also the indication of the leaves. I think a super successful part of your midterm is how the form reads on the dog. You know, you can really see the planes and the shapes and where the shadow and light is. So congratulations, Maggie, and thank you so much. All right, guys, I'm about to show you their final assignment. These are so good. So get ready. <laughs> Throughout the boot camp, I hosted an art contest, a portfolio contest. At the end of the boot camp, they gather all their work and create a portfolio. Originally, we were gonna have three winners, but we ended up having 12. It was so good. I just couldn't choose three, so we ended up adding like, like a mods pick, uh, a fans pick. So here we go. Oh, Tara Lilac, she has been a star throughout the whole boot camp. This won the mods pick. This is already wallpaper worthy. I love the color, then also all the shape language of all the armor and the antlers and the bow and arrow. And so congratulations, Tara. Noctifer. Part of their final, they also had to explore a few different moods. Each one of these variations tell like a, like a different story. And I think it's super impactful. I think they're all unique, all different. Noctiverse final just blows me away. I love the high key painting that makes it more dramatic. I love all the shadow and light shapes. So overall, I think you crushed it. Congratulations. I saw this on social media and I freaking I'm so proud of you too. We found some of Bell's old work before the boot camp. Comparing it to this, this is like two wholly different artists. Yeah, one thing I taught in the cinematic master studies class is a lot of films are orange and blue. You know, Avatar, Pacific Rim, even though it's done a lot, we do it because it works. And this is a clear representation of how it works. Most of this is like cool and blue. And then we have peaks of orange, which really draws my eye. Also, Bells won the fan pick. So congratulations, I'm so proud of you. And clearly the fans love your work. And then we have Alex AI, guys. Look at this, I'm blown away. Alex actually won second place in the portfolio contest, so congratulations. You were a beast. 
throughout the whole boot camp, I think everyone was like in awe and shocked their skill. What I love about Alex's work is that everything is so clear. There's so much clarity. I know some artists, including myself, when we don't know how to draw something or something doesn't work, we just kind of like hide it in the back with some brush strokes, you know? Oh, it's painterly. But Alex is like, no, I'm gonna figure everything out. These are coins, this is a spirit fish, this is armor, this is fabric, this is hair. I think there's such beautiful clarity in Alex's work and I praise you for that. Congratulations on winning second place and I'm very, very proud of you. So if Alex won second place, then who won first? Drum roll, Mogo Tasia. Yes, she won the whole freaking thing. Oh my gosh. So we looked at track record and Motasia was a rock star, did all the assignments, midterm, finals, hustled hard, gave 110% on everything, and her portfolio was just incredible. I think why she won first place. Her portfolio truly felt like an extension of who she is. Thought about everything from the graphic choices, the graphic design, the logo, the type, she chose what to leave in and what to leave out. Super cohesive. The contest brief was to create a portfolio. It could be a simple portfolio, maybe a simple layout. She really showed us her boot camp journey. You know, these were from the character design class, film study class, master study class. It's all here. It's just so cool to witness. So guys, please give her a follow. She's absolutely incredible. And I can't wait to see you ascend into greatness if not already. Yeah, so that was a little taste of the boot camp. There's just so much amazingness and so much talent that I wanted to showcase more of the art and artists. You know, one of my main goals starting the digital art boot camp is provide quality art education at an affordable price for my audience. Yeah, so if you like what you saw here today and think it can help you, join Digital Art Bootcamp. You know, digitalartbootcamp.com. We have a brand new site, a brand new logo. It already helped thousands of students, so maybe it can help you. Even Milo joined in, right Milo? He forgot to do his final though, so that dog. Yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, every day is the Color Dodge Day.